Well, good morning and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Friday, July 30th, the 17th Friday of Ordinary Time, and it is the feast day of St. Peter Chrysologus, who is a bishop, confessor, and doctor of the church, in which a doctor of the church, there's 36 of them, I think, in the Catholic Church, of which they're uh, their writings and their their research and just their their works are known to be theologically rich um, and uh, sought as true, um, like sent to them directly from God, um, with just how rich it with rich it is. So he's one of the thirty six doctors of the church, and he is known as the Doctor of Homilies for his rich theological reflections given while he was Bishop of Ravenna in the 400s, I believe. But he wasn't canonized as a saint until the 1700s, which is pretty, which is a long time. Uh, anyway, today's gospel is from Matthew chapter 13, verses 54 through 58. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and the Spirit. Amen. He, Jesus, came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the son? Is he, is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all of this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. So we've got the rejection at Nazareth with today's gospel, which Jesus can't really return home. I mean, he does return home, but he can't do much uh, because people think he is, what's the term they use here? Um, they take offense at him because they regard him because they know him so well. You know, they know his family background. Uh, they know his upbringing. Uh, they know his hometown. They know everything about him. Um, so they regard him as, as pretentious. So the the definition of pretentious is attempting to impress by affecting greater importance, talent, culture, whatever else that is, than what is actually possessed. So they all thought Jesus was pretentious, where he kind of was gloating and you know just was trying to impress people whenever he really didn't know what was going on, and um, so he couldn't, you know, so he couldn't sell it, I guess, to his family uh, or to his hometown, uh, to his own kin, and that was. Which is which is heartbreaking for that, for for Nazareth, you know, of how much Jesus could have done had they had faith, um, and believed in him and his work. So I think that's the challenge for, um, for us personally, um, to to be so convicted and spend so much time in prayer, where uh, you're you're not afraid to stand up for the truth, um, of of the faith, and um, you know, and be able to defend it. And not take offense to it, and um, and not get frustrated or internally, you know, just kind of distraught. I think that, you know, because Jesus doesn't want us to do that. He just kind of just didn't do anything, you know. So I think that's that's a good challenge for for me particularly. I think especially after I entered seminary, of of just the amount of uh, close friends and family members that uh, attack the Catholic Church. Uh, which in turn is kind of an attack on on me based upon what my current state in life is um, as a seminarian. So it's just one of those things you got to just take, just let it roll off your shoulder and just kind of press forward. But I don't do that very well all the time, and this is what um, you, I can learn uh, from from the gospel here of what Jesus did. He just didn't do any work there. He just kind of stopped talking, stopped stopped doing miracles, and he just pressed forward some somewhere else. And that is um, that is a uh, that's a challenge, um, especially to a non-believer who doesn't even believe in God, who's not even Christian. So that's the challenge: is uh, you know, know yourself, know your faith well enough so that everything is between you and God, and everything else around the outside world isn't as big of a doesn't make as big of a difference. I mean, it should just come naturally by how we live our lives and how we speak. So, with that being said, try to your best to ignore the distractions and just know that we're all searching and on that on that uh, that peaceful path that we all want, knowing we won't fully get it until we're in heaven someday. So, 
Have a great day. God bless. And keep it real. In the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen.